Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your monthly tarot reading May 2018. So five card spread, the first card is showing up the topic for May for you Virgos. The second card <clears throat> does expresses the things you can go for. The third card it is showing up the best course of action for you during the month. The third the fourth card excuse me is showing up the challenges for you during this month. And the last one it is showing up the final outcome or the result of all that of the, of the first <clears throat> four cards. So the topic for you Virgos is the page of wands. All right. So uh, the page of wands is a sign about the newness. The page of wands is a sign of a, a new beginning, but it is a, a new beginning in your already existing fields. Now for a <clears throat> clear new beginning it is only the um, the full card it is a sign of that but a new beginning in existing fields mean that means that let's say you have lost your job recently you are gonna find a new job in the same field of expertise if we had if we had the full the the full card then that could have mean a a brand new job you know but this is a, a new job in the same expertise it could be also the sign of your promotion or the sign of um, meeting up a new person that you can create a relationship with the point with the full with uh, the page of wands excuse me is a, a couple of things first of all <clears throat> the newness will come through a, a message you are going to receive a, a very happy message second of all the card says that during this month you Virgos are going to realize how strong you are on your own all right but when we talk about career here, this card also shows that you're going to have so many ideas, guys, and some of them are going to be very good. The problem is that you will have difficulties of explaining those ideas to your bosses and to your supervisors. Therefore, you may find yourself smothered to uh, express yourself creatively, or in other words, you're going to find yourself misunderstood. Very important, however, is when we're talking about relationship, when this card comes up to be open for everything new that your partner has to propose as an enterprise is to be experienced into one relationship. And then we go to the second card, <clears throat> which is the Seven of Swords. I don't know why it was reversed. I don't read reverse, guys. I do read through the uh, method of elemental dignity, so that's why I'm going to put it upright. <clears throat> in its upright position. So this card here uh, asks you to take advantage of the newness, guys and take a full advantage and the appearance of that card shows that not everybody will be uh, fortunate as you are not to mention that when the newness comes in your life Virgo is going to trespass some others interests alright and here is the uh, question you need to ask yourself Am I into this world for to please others or am I into this world to please myself? Well, this card points that you can totally go for pleasing yourself instead of pleasing others. And under others, I mean insignificant people, not like your children or your husband or your wife, you know, but insignificant people. And even though you may feel not very great about trespassing somebody, uh, at the end is going to pay off by you collecting the spoils of war if I may say it that way. So, but you also need to be ready for a conflict should you go to that way in the sense of that you are going to be confronted <clears throat> of these people which actually um, will, not, um, will not find themselves um, beneficial when you go after the newness into your life coming during this month. Either that could be a person, as I said, or a project. Uh, and uh, they will accuse you of uh, surreptitious activities or rather they will accuse you of acting unfair. And this is where you need to have a strong spine, guys, and uh, stand for yourself, even if you have to storm the situation. Then we do have uh, the best course of actions here, and that will be the page of swords. So you need to be an um, independable thinker. Do not allow, we have a double page here, so this is clear sign of a new beginning. And when the new beginning comes in your way, guys, you need to be open for, as I said, any, everything new, but as well to accept it mentally. It's a little bit difficult to be explained, but you need to be independable thinker and you need to have the readiness to take a particular role into those um, into those activities, if, uh, if I may say it that way. That being said, as I gave, gave the example of where you, um, you are going to be uh, 
constraints of expressing yourself creatively into your career with the page of swords you have to be ready to uh, make a stand for it in a sense of that you need to be ready to open conflicts you need to stand in front of your boss or in front of your supervisor and say you are not right you know you may sit higher than me into the ladder of the hierarchy but it doesn't mean that you are smarter than me well you you shouldn't say it that way you know because this is one sure way to get fired but something like this you know you, but my point is that you should not drop that idea of the play just because people does not believe in you and when it comes to a relationship here with this car guys well then uh, you have to stand for yourself and really um, <clears throat> place your rules in front of uh, in front of your partner you can say just enough is enough you know this time around we will have it my way and it is your way that you're gonna have it here with the energies of the seven of swords but it is very important guys to keep on your um, to keep steady um, steady standpoint on your um, on your way of thinking well it's hard for me to express it but the way you think and uh, do not back of it in other words do not uh, do not allow anybody to um, <clears throat> exert their thoughts in your mind and then is the challenges that you are going to face during this month that will be the chariot card I guess I had my uh, yeah my deck was reversed when I put it aside anyway so um, I, I guess we have uh, the chariot card and the chariot card points only that it will be really tough guys to be on your own during this month but as well the chariot card the chariot card is a sign of a triumph now being alone this month you need to realize that this is not because you're going to be abandoned by any but you are going to move on alone this month and you're going to face all the challenges on your own this month just so you can prove not just to yourself but also to the others of how strong you can be and it will require a heroic effort here for what it seems with the chariot card as a challenge and huge conviction which also falls uh, true with the with the page of swords saying that you're thoughts and your mind and your ideas are sacred and they should not be corrupted and polluted by anybody you know <clears throat> even if uh even if they think that your ideas and your thoughts are childish or are not supported by any facts whatsoever they are supported by facts it is just those people cannot see your side of the story that's the point here and that's why you will have a tough time initiating but it doesn't mean that you cannot initiate here with the chariot card the more heroic the effort is the bigger the triumph is going to be not to mention that this card points as well to uh, <clears throat> liberation all right it, it, it points also to uh, showing capabilities to lead forces which means that after you kind of like uh, go against your supervisor or your boss and you do exert that idea you know and you show it that your idea is actually a very good they're gonna find you as a very valuable asset and they may put you here as a uh, leader of a particular th team to lead a, um, a project right but the point is that with the chariot card especially when we come to to look at it with the page of wands and we exert that meaning for relationship and private life it does mean guys that you will definitely going to meet somebody all right and you will have the chance to jump into a very fast relationship with this person now that will be the challenge here to to hold your horses because with the chariot card this is a, a very harsh break with the past that you do have maybe because you had that poignant experience there and you just want to forget about it all right and that's why you jump into the new relationship hoping that is going to basically blank out all the poignant experience you had with the past and this isn't gonna happen basically so it's very important here when you go with a new relationship should you have any GMA is to be convicted that this relationship convinced excuse me to have self convictions that uh, you really want to be with that guy or a woman and then we do have the last one which points to the final outcome for you Virgos or the results of all that when it comes to a um, 
to that month May and uh, this is the clear green light for you to move on and uh, execute your thoughts and your ideas and materialize them in the real world now you need to know that the page is this um, voice in the desert that uh, many or almost everybody doesn't hear but if you shout it out um, frequently and consistently so but somebody is going to listen so even if your boss at the end says it's not gonna happen the way you want it someone else is going to approach you here with the Knights of Wands and we say look I you know I find it very good what you think you know I find it very resourceful and I want to give it a try so it could be a sign of a private business it could be a sign of uh, of a many <clears throat> of many enterprises when it comes to your uh, career nonetheless guys the knight of wands here in the conjunction of the rest of the cards points that because you had a strong spine and because you were confident in your thoughts and into your idea and you did not be you haven't been afraid to put the toils behind it you will have the opportunity to materialize them and to execute them. It is just don't you don't you should not be uh, too scattered and scampering around, but just to focus on one particular of those ideas. And when it comes to your relationship with this card, it does look like that it will be a crazy time after May, guys. It does look like that things are gonna go your way, and you're gonna feel very very energetic of moving on with that relationship. So uh, with that being said, Virgos, this was your tarot reading for May 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye!